Hey, this is Danny with eLearning Brothers. Today I'm going to talk about the new Captivate Draft iPad app, which is a cool new app that allows you to begin storyboarding a Captivate project on the go, just anytime, anywhere. So I've got it here on my iPad. You'll see when I open it up the first time, it shows me a help screen, which kind of gives you an idea of how to work the app. You can scroll through these or just skip them. So it brings you to this home page where you can see uh, previously saved projects that you've done. It starts off with a couple of samples as well, but I'm going to create a new project here by pressing this plus button, which brings me to a blank page. So one of the coolest things about this new app is the gestures. If you click this question mark icon up in the top right hand corner, it shows you the drawing gestures that it recognizes. So for example, if I wanted to put an image on the page, I would just do an X and boom, there you go. Or if I wanted to create a text box, I'd do a vertical squiggle or a horizontal squiggle for an audio recording, which can be helpful for recording little notes about the page that you're working on. You can also create a video object by drawing a right arrow, or you can create shapes, obviously, by just drawing those shapes, a square, triangle, circle, and line. You can also draw an infinity loop for a web object. So you can create all these objects by using this menu on the left here. As you can see, web object, audio, video, image, pressing the text button creates a new text box, and there's your shapes as well. So you can also change the color or format these objects. If I wanted to change the color of this square, I could just press fill color over here, and it'll bring up a color wheel, or you have various themes, which is really cool because you can create color schemes in Adobe Color and bring them in here by using your Creative Cloud library. So if I wanted to actually add an image here, I could go to my gallery and let's add this image here. So you can just edit on the go like that. Now, if I wanted to create a new slide, I press this plus button and it brings me to a new page. If you slide this plus button out, you can add questions by clicking the Add Question slide, which gives you the option of true, false, multiple choice, matching, sequence, and you can go in here and edit these text boxes, obviously, and type in questions if you want to. So to create a new slide, I would have to go back here and create Add Blank Slide. Or if I wanted to add another question slide, I could do that. Up here, you can click the branching menu and you can see that I've got six slides here. So once you've finished creating the slides that you want to, just go back to the home menu where you can hold and press your project. You can email it to a colleague to have them review it. You can upload it to the cloud or you can copy it and basically duplicate it or you can just delete it. So let's delete this copy. So that's a brief overview of what Adobe Captivate Draft can do. A uh, really cool new app that will be extremely useful for anybody that creates storyboards on a, a regular basis. Hope this has been helpful. This is Danny signing out for eLearning Brothers.